Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 23rd of May. Alabama's weather will stay pretty much uh, hot and dry today after another tragic tornado outbreak last night. Uh, Joplin, Missouri was the uh, community affected. At least 89 deaths as of early this morning. Just uh, remarkable. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, coming from Cullman. Uh, the sky there is uh, mostly clear. That's looking over toward downtown Cullman from the uh, Sky Cam site at the water treatment facility just east of downtown. And we note that we're getting to see a little daylight out there at uh, 5 o'clock. Look at the uh, Chiha Sky Cam. Uh, you don't see too much daylight there at 5 a.m., but you do for a brief time here as we approach the summer solstice about a month away. And down on the Alabama Gulf Coast, they're cleaning up this morning after the Hangout Music Festival. Crowds were unbelievable down there this weekend. And if you're beach-bound for the week, many people are. School is getting out. Weather down there looks fine for most of the week. Check the uh, water vapor satellite shot this morning. The MCS that was uh, partly responsible for that big tornado in Missouri last night is passing north of us. Uh, we'll check the uh, radar from Nashville. And you can see uh, good rains falling, mainly north of Interstate 40. Uh, well to the north of here, so uh, no rain issues this morning. And again, it's going to be a, a pretty quiet pattern for the next few days here. Look at all the storm reports yesterday. 48 tornado reports. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean 48 tornadoes, and don't have to sort all that out, but uh, the reports there from uh, northeast Oklahoma up to the upper Midwest. And uh, 283 reports of high wind, including... One little rogue storm that popped up around Huntsville. The Weather Service in Huntsville actually posted a tornado warning for that for a brief time. But uh, most all of Alabama was dry. And again, same thing today and tomorrow and, and Wednesday. It just looks kind of hot and dry around here. This morning, we are mostly in the 60s and low 70s. Warm spot, Birmingham, that old urban heat island effect. 73 in the city, 10 degrees cooler over in Anniston and Gadsden. Those are highs yesterday. Looks uh, looked like the hot spots were out there around Wichita Falls, Texas, 97 degrees. Wow, summer must be getting close. And around here, highs were in the upper 80s and low 90s yesterday. Here's our watch warning map this morning. Flash flood watches up for parts of Arkansas and Missouri, but no issues here. Convective outlooks. This is the rest of today and tonight. Got the standard risk all the way from the... Uh, uh, North Texas area through Oklahoma and Kansas back over to the Middle Atlantic coast. And it clips extreme North Alabama. Don't expect any issues down here for sure. Within that, there is a higher probabilities, the enhanced risk uh, for places like uh, Memphis, Little Rock, Louisville, Cincinnati, Indianapolis. Again, well to the north. Tomorrow, got a mo moderate risk for... Parts of Oklahoma and Kansas, and that does include Joplin, Missouri. And then surrounding that, the standard slight risk up to uh, New York City. And again, nothing here. Day three, which is Wednesday, slight risk just north and west of here. And within that, there is a higher 30% probability circle there that includes Little Rock, Memphis, Paducah, Kentucky, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, almost up to Indianapolis. And beyond that, there is no formal risk on day four, which is Thursday, which is good. The uh, predictability too low. And again, we'll discuss that in detail as we get into this. And the uh, QPF chart, obviously, the big numbers are up north. Uh, this is valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. The amounts vary from about uh, an, an inch and a quarter near the shoals down to just a trace for Dothan. And we could actually use some rain. It's getting pretty dry around here. Well, let's take a look. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars. Energy passing well north of here. The ridge is flattened a little bit, but not much. And accordingly, uh, we think that the weather today should be pretty much just uh, uh, hot for May and dry. Uh, good supply of sunshine today with temperatures around 90. And again, some of the storms up there might want to drift down into extreme north Alabama around the uh, Tennessee Valley, and so the Shoals, Athens, Huntsville might hear some thunder, but for most of Alabama, just like yesterday. Same thing tomorrow. High close to 90, pretty decent amount of hazy sunshine. 
All right, Wednesday, boy, that's problematic there. Pretty good-looking trough coming out of the Plain States. And again, for areas west of the state, that could be a fairly significant severe weather outbreak. A 1,000 millibar low that's over uh, Kansas. And again, those areas down to the south and east over Arkansas and southern Missouri. We'll have to really watch that on Wednesday. But again, here, I just don't think it rains much. Uh, uh, We'll mention a slight chance of a shower late in the day, but I just don't think it rains until maybe late Wednesday night. And I do believe what's going to happen is we'll have an MCS, a thunderstorm complex, blowing in here during the pre-dawn hours Thursday. Like, let's go to Thursday. The trough axis is about to come through. And again, there's that uh, thunderstorm complex. And of course, timing, you know, days in advance is going to be hard to nail that thing down. But there's a real chance we could see a thunderstorm complex Thursday morning that could be strong, no doubt about that. And then we'll just have to see if the air mass can recover for additional storms Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening. At this point, it's just hard to define that. So I'd say that the risk is there for, for strong to severe storms, but I'd say it's somewhat marginal. And, um, uh, Uh, greatly dependent on the ability of the air to recover. All right, we'll go to Friday. The primary axis is beginning to move off to the east of rain. There could be a lingering shower in there Friday. And then we got the Memorial Day weekend coming up. Look at uh, Saturday. And a ridge begins to build. The storm track is beginning to move north and down below that. Kind of looks like summer. There's enough moisture there maybe to mention a slight chance of a shower, but I don't know. I, with that ridging, I don't think so. I think we'll just go uh, warm and dry with upper 80s. Same thing Sunday and the same thing on Memorial Day. So at this point, you've got a beach trip planned or going to hang around here. The weather looks just kind of very warm and dry for most of the Memorial Day weekend with the highs 87 to 90, much like the weekend we just enjoyed. Good kickoff to summer there. We'll go out there toward the end of the forecast, June the 7th. Look at that now. Are you kidding me? I don't, I don't buy that for a second. Come on. Uh, if by chance that's right, that would be anomalously cool. But come on now. Troughs like that in early June, while they can happen, they're not uh, very common. And I would imagine that might disappear on the uh, next run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.